guys. Let me move that a little bit closer. Today we're going to talk about prostate stimulation. I'm excited about this topic because I have a lot of opinions on this topic and I think it's very important for people to hear uh, my side of things often because it's more liberal and like do whatever the fuck you want and be confident in your choices and enjoy your fucking life type of thing, right? Uh, I've talked about this before in a sex ed uh, series, so in a more like serious setting without my opinion involved, and uh, I'll post that down in the description if you want to watch the actual formal video. It was more about just like anal in general, um, but I do touch on the topic of like male masturbation with prostate stimulation and like gay sex with prostate stimulation. And the truth is, I am actually knowing a lot more men these days that actually do this on themselves or have their girlfriend peg them. And something I've always, like, kind of joked, but I'm really being honest about it, that I've wanted to do in my life is uh, peg a man, and I still haven't done it. Uh, Jay's not into that kind of thing, and I feel like it's kind of sad and detrimental to a free and happy sex life if you won't try something at least once, as long as it doesn't leave any actual scarring. But I think a lot of people feel like if you ever stimulate your prostate or if anyone ever found out that you did something like that, that that would make you automatically gay, which is clearly not the case. And even if it was the case, like, why are you being so you know, for lack of a better word, homophobic, like, why? I know that you have to live if you are, like, different from anyone in society and that difference has some kind of negative connotation. I know you have to live with the ridicule that comes with that, but wouldn't you rather be yourself and wouldn't you rather live life to the fullest and experience everything that you should be experiencing rather than living in fear of what other people think of you? I mean, the prostate naturally and in itself is a huge erogenous zone for men. Men fucking feel great when they stimulate their prostate, just like a a finger or something really short and just like rubbing on that area. It's kind of like a bumpy nodule. Like rubbing on that area just feels extremely pleasurable for men. It's like the man's G-spot basically. And it happens to be like in the inside of, you know, your rectum just a little bit, you know? And um, I think it sucks that people won't try things just because of some stigma that society puts on you know, people who do such a thing, you know? And it definitely doesn't make you gay. So if anyone's wondering, like, oh, I wanted to do that and I tried it once, am I now gay? Obviously fucking not. Please have a little bit of sense. Uh, if you are attracted to what society views as feminine or people who identify as female, then you are not gay, you know? Or you're bisexual. And there's nothing wrong with that either. I feel like I was talking to a friend recently um, and he was telling me about how he is a little bit attracted to one of his male friends and how he feels uncomfortable about that. And honestly, like, that happens with women too. And you know what happens when it happens to women? Women experiment with it. They call themselves bisexual. They go through a bisexual phase or they're bi-curious and they just enjoy it and they enjoy that part of their sexuality. I think it's very natural to be interested in the same sex or the opposite sex and to... Like, even if that's not what your sexual orientation dictates or what you know in your heart that you're going to fall in love with or what you enjoy sexually, like, admiring someone of the same sex because they're beautiful or because they're strong and confident and talented, like, that's not something to be afraid of, if that makes any sense. So, going back on the topic of actual prostate simulation, um, I keep saying simulation or, like, slurring it so it sounds like simulation, and it's like, and then I can't even say simulation, like, what is this? But, um... I definitely feel like when I imagine a guy in my head, and this is like the raw truth, when I imagine a guy in my head like stimulating his prostate solo, I find that less attractive than imagining a guy just like masturbating by stroking his cock. That's just something that I imagine in my head. That being said, I would definitely be fine with exploring that with any guy that I'm actually attracted to. And um, I think it would be extremely hot if a guy was adventurous enough to try that or to let me peg him. And I think it would be really cool. I think role reversal is cool, but it might inherently and without my control change the way that I feel about that guy because of my standards and what I like in a guy. Not because of how much I respect him because of his sexual orientation or the fact that he's done something that I see as shameful because I don't at all see it as shameful. I see it as, hey, you want to get more pleasure out of your sex? Why the fuck are you not doing this, right? It's the same thing with pussy licking. Like, I can enjoy pussy licking even though it's not like my favorite thing. I'd rather just, you know, get fucked because I orgasm better that way and because I find 
the act of a man fucking me much more attractive looking than the act of him like going down there like eh, la, la. it's just like something about my own personal preference but that doesn't mean that i think men who look pussy are gross it doesn't mean that i look down on men who look pussy and a lot of people misconstrue my own personal preferences with me looking down on other people from different walks of life when really I'm just the epitome of accepting everyone and if I'm not attracted to you that doesn't mean I don't you know that doesn't mean I can't respect you obviously respect is earned but it doesn't mean I don't give you the human decency and the basic like go ahead to be whatever the fuck you want to be and do whatever the fuck you want to do and I definitely support anyone exploring any avenue that would make them happier in life or would make them have more fun with things like sex because sex is one of the amazing things in life that will always be there for you as long as you're a sexual human being that you you can like, you know, when you have a stressful day, you can like jerk off or have sex with your friends, your sex with your friends, sex with your partners or friends. Fuck it. Whatever. Right. I don't care about that shit. Why not? I would have sex with my hot friends, but, um, it's just a great part of life and a lot of people stigmatize it and, you know, hold themselves back because they're worried about what other people would think. And like, if I tell you that I find something unattractive or if I tell you that I find something gross, which I, I don't find prostate stimulation gross, um, I, that, like, what does that matter? That's just my opinion. And like, what I want to teach or what I want to help people understand through my videos is that it doesn't matter what other people think and it it's unhelpable that other people have different opinions. And if something doesn't get me off or doesn't turn me on, it's not my fault and it doesn't mean that I hate you because I can't get turned on by you and that kind of thing. And a lot of people say that like, oh, you don't like, you know, short fat guys or something. You are a fucking stuck up bitch. No, I have preferences. I'm just honest about it. And I really hope that if you're a short fat guy and I'm not attracted to you or whatever it is that I'm not attracted to, I hope you continue to be yourself and learn that I'm just a person that doesn't matter. I'm just a one vocal minority in the world that is being honest with what I like and that doesn't mean I can't like you as a person or we can't be friends or I can't respect you and it makes no sense that people are so pseudo nice like not telling people what they actually want to say or not telling people what they actually mean because they're afraid to hurt other people when really everyone should just have that like intrinsic thick skin and that logic that tells you that other people are going to have other opinions and that's just how the world works and it doesn't make the person who has the opinion a bad person and it doesn't mean that that person who has that opinion hates other people who don't share the same opinion it's like the world is full of differences and and beauty of different kinds and just because I am not attracted to that like that's like something I can't help too it's like visceral you know like if something turns me off or if something turns me on I like can't help it and you're supposed to embrace that about yourself and about other people so um prostate stimulation is a yes I would definitely do it with a partner especially if I'm extremely attracted to him I would definitely love to peg a guy just for fun maybe as a you know submissive you know, reverse role-playing thing that I don't, like, I'm not like that at all. I'm not submissive, or I'm not um, dominant at all. I'm very submissive, but in a dominant way where I want you to take control of me. But, like, I'm totally fine with role reversal and doing things that I wouldn't normally do or wouldn't normally find attractive. Um, just, like, to try it out and just to do it. And I've always wanted to peg a guy. And guys, you naturally feel good when you stimulate your prostate. It's a natural G-spot for you guys. And um, you should at least research it if not try it, but remember to make sure to be careful because you're, you don't need any more than like an inch or two in there. Like that's where the prostate is. It's a little like, um, it's a little, how do you say that? Like it's a like little nodule in there that's like rigid and stuff. And you can feel it if you like poke around in there. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's gay in the comments, but you guys haven't been listening to a word I say. If you say that, and I'm just going to disregard those comments. This is for the people who have wanted to try it or who do try it, but they feel a little uncomfortable about it and what that means for them in this society and basically it means nothing it means that you want to have a more amplified sex life and more fun and you know if you are still attracted to women only then that doesn't make you fucking gay obviously and it doesn't matter if you're gay and I definitely feel that you owe it to yourself to be honest with who you truly are and not worry what other people say and I know that's easier said than done but I want you guys to know that I am always on your side I want you to be yourself no matter who yourselves are and I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. I hope you post some interesting comments. Have you guys ever tried it? Would you guys ever consider trying it? I know a lot of you guys have pseudonyms that you use on the internet, so it's not as big of a deal if you say, yeah, I've fucking tried it, and like not all your friends are gonna see it or whatever, but you know, if you do that and you are honest about it and own up to it, like one of my friends who I feel 
Uh, he has some strong suits, but he's not a great person. Once said to me that, like, you can make anything badass or anything cool or you can sell anything as long as you have confidence behind it. So if you're like, fuck, yeah, I've tried mound cum and I've stuck my finger up my ass. Why not? It feels good. Fuck you if you haven't. You know, like, that kind of attitude just, like, people get behind that shit. That makes you a stronger person, a leader, and someone who just doesn't give a shit, and I have a lot of respect for those people, so I love you guys either way, and I hope you have a fucking wonderful day. I will see you next time. Like the vid, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think of the new look. This is like an in-between. I have my new lens now, and I did a little of the manual settings that I want, but I still want the background to be a little bit more blurred, a little bit more bokeh, that's what it's called, and the photography world. And other than that, I'm pretty happy with the upgrades and I want to thank my patrons once again. You guys are fucking amazing for making this happen. Production quality, one of my favorite fucking things. And I am so glad that I can keep improving my production quality for you guys and my content in general. Love you. If you have any more things that you want me to talk about, post in the comments. Bye guys.